Hey church, hope you're doing well. We really want to encourage you today with a devotion on land, buildings, and territory. The Bible says this in 1 Chronicles 4, verse 10. Jabez cried out to the Lord God of Israel. He said this, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Now, I wonder if you've ever had a time in your life where you've stepped out in faith to increase your territory. When we got married in 2019, we moved into uh, a great apartment. It was great yeah. for the season that we were in. But as we had been married a bit longer, um, a couple of years in, we kind of started feeling this tension of knowing that we wanted to expand, knowing that God wanted to do something new in our lives. So we started looking, started seeing what was on the market, and we bought our first house in 2021, which was amazing. It was just five minutes away from church, which was a massive answer to prayer and just over the border into Wales, which is really cool. And it was a really monumental faith building enlarging moment in our, in our marriage and also in our walk with the Lord as we decided to take claim of the land that God had given us. Um, yeah. And Jabez praised this prayer, the similar prayer that we prayed when we were moving into our new house. We were believing for it, dreaming, praying, petitioning God, praying a prayer of, Lord, that you would enlarge my territory. Now, at first glance, if we're honest, it seems like a bit of a selfish prayer, doesn't it? God, that you would enlarge my territory. But that's not the case at all. Here, Jabez is in empire building. He's kingdom building for the purposes of God. And taking ownership of land, of buildings, of territory. It isn't just a natural move, it's a supernatural move. And in doing so, we're taking claim and dedicating a space and a place for the purposes of God in the advancement of his kingdom. It's really easy in the midst of problems to want to shrink back, to scale down, to take the foot off the accelerator in the natural sense. But I believe more often than not, that in those moments, God doesn't want us to shrink back. God actually wants us to enlarge our way out of our problems and therefore expand and grow our territory. God in reality isn't limited to the size of our prayers. He loves to respond to the size of our prayers. And our prayers determine our revelation of how big we think God is. I wonder what would happen if Jabez was too timid and afraid and didn't pray a bold prayer mm. to God. God wouldn't have enlarged his territory. And I wonder for us today, church, perhaps God is waiting to enlarge our territory, give us buildings, take us further, lay claim on land, if only we'll just pray and believe him for it. So good, yeah. So I just wanna encourage you today, what are you setting your hopes on? What are you praying for, believing for this year? What is God stretching your faith in about enlarging your territory? Think on these things. Think on that scripture today. And we want to encourage you. Let's pray and believe that God is going to do even more than we could think, ask or imagine in 2023. 2023, the year of expansion, taking land, taking buildings, taking territory, all for the purposes of God in Jesus' name. Here's to a great 2023 of moving forward in Jesus' name.